Mm-mm-mm. You asked and we delivered. Today we are making Nigeria's savory and succulent egusi soup. Your chef for today, me. Even though I'm not really cooking, but like I just wanted to um, animate this little cute little thing. Let's go. So the first step is always to get your ingredients. And this is me picking the vegetables outside where it's planted, like a true village girl. <laughs> After that, you want to wash the vegetables because you'll know what's been on it. And while you wash it, you want to break down the vegetables, kind of just break it down into tiny pieces so that it's not just a whole leaf in your soup, right? So we're just breaking it down and we're washing it. All right, so here's the fun part. You strike a match and you light the stove. And this is how you do it in the village. So yeah, it's really not that difficult. Get your meat and you're gonna wash it. We wash it in a pot just to get all the impurities out, um, etc. etc. And yeah, that's the next step. Uh -huh, time for the best pot salt. Black people in general, we don't really use measuring, so just be sprinkling until the ancestors tell you it's okay. <laughs> This is Maggie, which is like 95% MSG. So we just be sprinkling down everything because it tastes good. I think it's also called gnaw or something like that. Okay, I think he's sprinkling in some curry, just a little bit. And this is just regular salt. Now you guys see why we have high blood pressure. Because <laughs> our food tastes good. Okay, so this is actually the egg seed that you're looking at right now, but it's it's a seed, but we grind it up to give it this uh, form. And then what Chibuzo is doing is adding a little bit of water to better the consistency so that it's easier for frying. You're just adding a little bit of water until it looks like this. All right, cool. So if you just look at your meat, make sure you're checking on it and stirring it around so that it cooks evenly. So our problem was that we had a lot more meat than vegetables, which I guess for a lot of people, that's not really a problem. So after we finished washing the bitter leaf, this is what it looks like. It's not a lot because I didn't pick enough, so we'll have to manage. Shibby. Shibby. Nigeria managing nation. Oh, and we forgot pepper, so now we're adding pepper. Bip it. Daniel, do you know how to cook? I, I, I can do this in the age doing it. No, you can't. So you don't have faith in me, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not all people do, it's okay. Daniel, just kidding. <laughs> so we're waiting for the meat to tenderize. The soup tastes good, though. Chef Chibuzo says it'll take about 30 minutes. Where are you? About 30 minutes for the soup to be done. So while we're waiting for the meat to cook, we are going to fry the egusi. Um, this is palm oil slash red oil. Um, you can get this at any African store, I believe. And we're putting the egusi in the hot oil. We put a little bit too much though, as you can hear now. That's why you're gonna do too much. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So pour it out, please. So this is us pouring out the oil because <laughs> we put too much. So we just added the meat broth into the fried igusi mixture. Okay. 
I hope it's not watery to dissolve. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Let's just stop boiling to get more tea. Okay. So what are you doing right now? <laughs> oh, you're just adding water to the juice. I don't want this one to waste. Okay. So it's not on camera, but as you can see, the soup is a little bit too thick. So we're gonna add a little bit more water and then we're gonna add the vegetables. And of course, you always want to test test everything you make because you know you, you don't know if it's too salty or whatnot. So he just asked my brother to taste test the soup. Is what he says. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. it's okay, right? Okay. All right, it's time to bring the soup down. Okay. Uh, welcome, the soup. Welcome. We are done with our soup. So it's Yay. time to bring it down. Good. We're done. Jimmy, put your plate down. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, this is nice. You, 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 you think if I, like, if I bring this soup to Oibo, baby, you should, you should eat it. Mm, it looks good. It does look good. It's on my plate. What? So I know this is the worst instructional video, but just be putting in water and stirring and watching your soup until it looks like this. Okay, so now we have a word from our sponsors, aka this is just to get my video to 10 minutes so I can get more money. <laughs> so, Chibuzo, can you give us some pointers on egusi soup? Once you get everything prepared, you see your soup, you make it as easy as for it. That's why. So, who taught you how to cook, Chibuzo? You know, in America, it's mainly the women. In, in my family, it's mainly the women that cook, but you're a dude. about here in Nigeria is that as long as you exist in this nation, you try to try to do it as the pressure is to go over there at the point you get tired of visiting the restaurants, the canteen, you get tired of spending your money so you have to turn around cooking food. Mm. So that's how we see it here. You have to follow it. Mm. To learn how to it's not limited to the ladies alone. Yeah. Amen. At some point in time, you're not gonna always see the ladies. Amen. No. When you don't see the ladies, you have to make something for yourself to eat. Mm-hmm. That's it. Amen. No. And again, let me say the funny part. Sometimes, most of the times, yeah, you want the ladies to make soup for you. They charge you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They look for money for this, money for that, money for this, money for that, for one suit. Maybe at the end of the day, they'll take up to 5,000 making a pot of soup for you. But if you're going to make it yourself, you might use 1,000 naira to make the same soup they did. So you had the rest of the money go. Ask the ladies. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see Do you. Do I look fresh? Yeah, you look fresh. I look fresh. Good. Okay, so we have to get the bitter leaf because we don't have any. Yeah. So I'm gonna go pick some off this bush. Yeah. Because that's where you get it from. Yes, yes. Bitter leaf bush. Yes. Okay, can you show me which so one? So proceed to the bitter leaf, bitter leaf uh, bush. Take it here, pick it here. This one? Yeah. Pick so it. just? Yeah, start picking. So get it like this. Not like that. So oh, the whole stem. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, from there. Okay. All right. Not like that. Break it. Break it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we'll get plenty. Break it. Break the other one too. This is a stick. Break that one. Have you got some enough? Is this enough? Get the ones down. This is Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last time it's really in Nigeria. <laughs> she practiced everything before going part, part of the States. This is the bitter leaf. The medicinal, the medicinal leaf we use to cook. That's why people here are very strong. Okay. And they grow very old. But I can beat you now. Before they die. I can beat you. Who dash your strength to beat, to beat an African man? That one is okay. It's more it's soup good. we are making before you finish everything. They use, the, they use it as cash crop to make money here. Oh. All right. 
We're done? Oh, okay, press the red button. Wait, did you get me with the yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, this blossom with the bitter leaf. I caught him. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, it's Blossom Creativist and I'm up to you live and personal. And you know, I've always wanted to learn how to make a goosey soup, but I wanted it to be authentic, a goosey soup. So today, we are here with Joy <laughs> in the village, making a goosey soup in the village <laughs> with the stove. <laughs> and Chef Chibuzo is helping me prepare it today. Uh, Yum! So stay tuned. <laughs> The village kitchen. Yeah. See the stove. There's no place like home. <laughs> See the outside. The village kitchen. See the dishwasher. <laughs> the dishwasher. <laughs> 